Um, this video is going to show you how to change the lower engine mounts on this Mercury 75 two-stroke engine. Um, on this engine, the lower engine mounting bolts have been modified, so it's quite a straightforward job. And if you look at my YouTube channel, you'll find a video on there that shows you how to carry out the modification of the lower engine mounting bolts, which are here. Two stainless steel bolts going through the lower yoke and through into the engine mounts which are mounted behind these plastic plates. In order to modify the bolts, um, it's necessary to cut the original bolts at this point here, at the back of the lower engine mounting yoke. The reason for this is that on the uh, original fit, these bolts are fitted in the other way round. So the head of the bolt would be at this end and the nut goes on this end. And what this means is that when you remove the nut, you can't remove the bolt without stripping the entire um, engine mount down, which is, uh, appears to me to be quite a big job and not one I've done. So what we've done is we, some time ago, um, we cut the engine mounting bolts here. And then when we put the new ones in, we've put them in from this end and as you'll see later, the nut is on this end. That means that we can remove the bolts, remove the engine mounts and change them. So what you're going to need in order to do this job, if you've done the modification, half inch socket, a 19 millimeter socket, a 19 mil open ended ring spanner and a Phillips screwdriver. And that's it. You don't need anything else if you've already carried out this modification. Okay, so the first stage of this job is to remove this plastic cover here. I'm only going to do one side at a time. I don't want to release the engine entirely. There are two Phillips screws situated here at the back of the engine. So we simply remove these. That's one. And hopefully there's two. And then the cover simply pulls off from the back and pulls forward. And that reveals the cover plate for the engine mounting, which is in here. Um, we've got a little um, uh, earth strap here from the end of the bolt to the chassis. The next thing that we're going to do is to remove this cover plate here. Okay, so this is where our 19 mil, oh sorry, our half inch comes in, 13 millimeter I should say. So, 13 millimeter socket. Okay, just the two bolts. First, remove the one. I like to use copper coat on my bolts. One, see the earth strap here, don't forget about that. And there's the second bolt. You can see the cover plate's dropped away. To remove the cover plate, very simple, it just pulls away. Okay, what we're left with then, you can now see the engine mounting bolt runs all the way through. And here's the nut this end. In the original fit, the bolt goes through the other way. So you can see that if you took the nut off and pushed it back, it would hit the back of the engine here and you wouldn't be able to remove it from the yoke. Okay, um, doing it this way round, it makes this a very much more simple job. So this is the engine mount that we're going to change today. Um, this one's been here since um, the engine was new as far as I can tell. And the reason we're doing this is that uh, if you're watching this through the, the Fletcher site, you may have seen uh, the name Mel Chapman uh, on there from time to time. He keeps his boat out in Greece and he wants to change his en uh, uh, lower engine mounts. Um, but he also happens to have a friend who uh, owns a company that makes um, mounts of this kind, which is happy, happy days for him. Um, so he borrowed one of mine and he's had some new ones made up and what we're going to do today is a trial fit of those new ones. Um, he's not here just yet. I'm, uh, I'm just stripping it down ready to do that, that trial fit. So the next thing I'm going to do 
is remove this engine mounting. The next stage, we're going to remove the engine um, mount bolt and the engine mount itself. This is where you will need your 19mm socket, your 19mm open ended. You can see you can't get a socket on the nut end, so on the bolt head. There's not a lot of room for your 19mm spanner here. There is enough, but there's not a lot. And we just ray. There we go. Okay. And hopefully, there we go. Now, I had these off not too long ago, so they're all copper coated up. You may find you need a little bit more effort to get yours off. Okay, there's the nut free. And so one nut, one earthing strap. And note on this end, there's another earthing strap coming up to the uh, lifting part of the engine mount. And there we go, there's the bolt out. Once the bolt is out, the engine mount itself, there we go, comes away. There's your engine mount. And note that there is a spacer washer here as well. And there is your engine mount removed. Here's your lower yoke. If you've got wear here and you're going to do um, or, or try and fill that wear, um, then what you would do now is remove the engine mount from the other side and that would free the lower part of the engine completely. You can then put a little piece of wood in here to lift the bottom part of the engine away. There's not a lot of slack, you don't want to overdo it, but you can get enough there to get a reciprocating store saw down through here and cut this bolt. And as I say, there is a, a video on my YouTube channel which shows us actually doing that. But as you can see, once that modification's been done, it's very easy to take out your lower engine mounts. Okay, so Mel has now arrived and has bought within the new mount. Um, we're just going to have a quick look at those before putting them in and greasing them up. This is the old one. So if you look at the old one, you can see there's a certain amount of damage to that. Yeah, which is it's not bad, but it's occurred over the years. Okay, so there's the old one. And now we'll just look at a little comparison to what Mel has bought. Okay, so look at that. Lovely, lovely new mount. Try not to drop it. All machined in high grade aluminium and uh, a polypropylene inner this time instead of rubber which should last a lifetime. If you're um, thinking about changing your lower engine mounts and you're interested in, uh, in what Mel's achieved here and they're really a nice quality bit of kit, um, give him a shout through the Fletcher Owners uh, Club on Facebook and you'll find Mel easily. Mel Chapman is the name, so if you're interested, drop him a line. Okay, we're going to get on with fitting these beauties. Okay, so <clears throat> we've seen the old one taken out, we've seen the comparison with the new one. There's the new one there. I've just greased it up with a bit of 24C. We're all clean in the housing here and 24C all in here, all ready to go. So we're going to fit the new uh, bush in here, nice and easy. There she goes, just there. Sounds like my phone going off somewhere. Okay, so bolt ready to go, all greased, and of course here we've got the um, earthing strap. Should we put the earthing strap in? Get the bolt in there. Then we've got a spacer, little spacer here. So just get under the skeg, move it back, give ourselves a little bit of slack. There we go. Okay, and then hopefully the bolt will go through. Okay, so we're through with the bolt. And then on this end here, washer and earthing strap. And move it through. There we go. Okay, so that's held in place. Okay, and a little bit of a little bit of a fiddle. A little bit of a fiddle. We've got the bolt, sorry the nut, ready to go and it's just just slightly fiddly to get it in there but 
There we go. Getting all good with me today. There we go, got it. All right. So we're just going to pinch that up. Okay, I've just moved the camera in a little bit closer. Okay, so we've got the um, earth strap here, 19 mil open-ended on that end and the socket on this end. And we'll just do this up. Okay, so here we go. Give it. So. go okay that's nice and tight I suppose you should put a torque spanner on it but it's about the 40 45 pound feet on there okay so the plate just slips on like so just make sure it's nicely seated that's fine um, two 13 millimeter bolts don't forget your earth strap earth strap fits here there's one, there's the other, and yeah, that just tucks back in there. Pop these up. There we go, perfect. There we go. Okay, so that's the new engine mount in place. Both earth straps in place. And now just remains to put the cover plate on. So the cover plate, I appear to have lost one of the screws. Cover plate just slips on. These little clips just go into here. So there we go. Um, we've got two screws. Well, we should have two screws. I can only see one. There's the other one. Oh, there it is. There we go. There's the other one. and there you go one new engine mount and of course the other side's exactly the same <laughs> 